so the difference between food allergy and oral allergy syndrome is this. So with food allergy, it's kind of our body's immune response against a certain food. And it's for some reason our body is detecting that food as danger. So we're creating antibodies and immune response as a protective mechanism. And that protective mechanism can happen body-wide. We can have a, you know, that protection in our, our eyes and our, our mouth, the, the respiratory tract, the GI tract, the skin. So it can be a, a significant immune reaction. With oral allergy syndrome, or another name that commonly goes by as food pollen syndrome, this is one where we're gonna eat certain foods that are botanically related to pollen. So the source of this kind of comes from pollen allergy. Certain trees, grasses, weeds, they can be very related to certain fresh fruits and vegetables. So when we're consuming those fruits and vegetables, our body's like, it's almost like it's thinking you're eating pollen. And you start having this response as a protective mechanism. So you might get an itchy mouth, you might get an itchy tongue, maybe a little rash around the mouth, an upset stomach. Those types of things are what people experience with oral allergy syndrome. The interesting thing is if you cook or process the food, often you can tolerate it, that cooking and processing changes the configuration of that protein so it doesn't look like the pollen anymore. What can you do? Well, first of all, I would say, if it's affecting you significantly, avoid the food and be cautious you know, in consuming those fresh fruits and vegetables. Another thing you may consider is getting allergy shots or sublingual immunotherapy to the pollens because those are the things that are sensitizing you in the first place.